My name is Harry Zhang, I'm currently a freshman at Emory University, majoring in management consulting and strategy in the business school and uh, social psychology in the college. My name is William. I am a sophomore at Emory University. I'm from Luoyang, China. I'm also involved in Data Science Club. I'm the VP for development there. And also I'm in Ascent Investment Group. I'm one of the analysts. And for the summit, I'm the founder of Atlanta Global China Summit. The Atlanta Global China Summit is one of, hopefully going to be one of the largest events here in Atlanta to show, demonstrate to the world what Atlanta is. And uh, in order to connect the talents globally to promote the cultural exchange between US and China. And most importantly, in 2019, we hope to celebrate uh, the 40th diplomatic relationship establishment between US and China. It is a big conference where we want to bring together all the top talents and the world-class business leaders along with government officials to come together and network with students and pay tribute to President Jimmy Carter and also celebrate the 40-year relationship between China and the U.S. We study in this university and our role is primarily a student. And our primary goal is to study hard and get a GPA and probably find a job. And most of our connection and most of our friends are just people around us. Whether they're upperclassmen or underclassmen, they're just similar age of us, Emory University students. And I really want to utilize this opportunity to invite the top-notch scholars and business leaders to come to Emory to share their insights, to share how they feel and how they did when they were young and how they view the world right now. When we have our team, only three members in June, and then the school start. September, I started to recruit people and uh, there I remember there were 250 people sitting in the White House, uh, the seats are full. So I stand up on the, on the stage and spoke to everybody and pitched this idea about the summit. I found, I thought there was, there was 18 people who added me on WeChat, which is a social media platform, just like the Facebook. And uh, in the end, there was only five applied, and we accepted four. At that time, it was really hard for us. It was such a beginning, and we envisioned it to be a summit for 500 universities in the Southeast. I was worried about how long it's gonna take for us to achieve this. Little by little, we started to recruit more members. Uh, we not only interviewed lots of people, but also we recruited some members through our personal relationship. For example, Janice and uh, Vincent. Uh, later on, definitely, we have uh, Nathaniel and Rachel, and both of them all were great help. The dynamic of the entire group is very vibrant, I would say. Everybody are really ambitious and really looking forward to the success of the summit. We all hope that we can not only benefit the people here, but also benefit the entire community uh, through this event. It's a 22 people team and most of us have uh, different, very different majors. Like the other day we did a poll like to ask whose major, like my major is sociology, uh, Santa's major is uh, QSS, Janice's major is music, Chen's major is econ or stats or applied math. Like nobody is really like certain on a pathway. Like none of us actually have decided on a major and we all have great flexibility in terms of our career. It really become uh, like a real integral part of my daily life. So I just stopped counting the number of hours. I know like we can count the numbers of hours we work when we're working as a volunteer or uh, working part-time internship or just in a student organization or club. And then on the weekends, we work very, very hard. We usually have meetings um, from 9 to 11 and uh, the core members meet on Saturday, Friday, Sunday for like we six to eight hours depending on like even if we don't physically meet we video chat and uh, we work on these different projects on our individual basis and share them on the uh, WeChat group that we have and uh, definitely if you count the time like uh, we go to learn from others to learn this kind of skills that's going to be way longer for example uh, in order to be to know more about Facebook marketing us 
um, I actually visited a couple of friends of mine here in Atlanta and then um, uh, had many many work different kind of those kind of sessions to learn more about Facebook advertising and uh, practice on my own on a free time and figure out what's the best strategy try it a little bit and see which promotion can actually generally generate leads for us so that was, that was definitely a really painstaking process and um, no, I, I'm pretty sure that lots of people have done similar things but they didn't really share with the group because we all really want to make this happen I want to push my limit and be an example because I want to see where my limits really at. I want to try my best on my academics and try my best on summit. And I'll try my best on both of the things and see where this semester goes and how it goes. It 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 was pretty rough sometimes. And it just sometimes we would like work up all nighters uh, three in a row. You just cannot concentrate on study and miss a bunch of classes. But right now I'm just picking up all the course load and uh, trying to study them all all again. There's, this is a challenge for myself. I know I spoke too much about it, but this is one of the challenges, this a few of the challenges we faced right now, yeah. Truly um, put this in my uh, first place ahead of my uh, grades, ahead of my uh, other activities, uh, ahead of my, uh, <coughs> my job uh, research <coughs> and everything. So definitely, uh, more or less, I've impacted my personal life in terms of uh, academics or uh, uh, like actually friendship or I would say relationship in general with my family my friends and uh, so but I don't think it's not worth it at all like I, I still I made lots of friends in this process and actually built my network significantly through this uh, event so I don't think it, it, I would even say it's a positive even for now uh, I, I'm pretty sure I'm hundred percent certain that after January uh, the hard work will be even more beneficial to me I love the team we have right now I'm just feel so blessed we have such a team. First year we have this summit. As I said, from 5 to 22, no matter like whatever problems there are, I just feel blessed I have this team, 100%. And there are so many capable people on this team and so many passionate people on this team that help me push this forward.